Paquito Navarro and Sanju Gutierrez will play together the next season. It will be the third season that they will play together after 2016 and 2017. However, a few years ago, Sanjo answered this. Si volverías a jugar con Paquito. No. No, te lo contesto rápido. What has changed and why is a good news that Sanjo and Paquito are gonna play together? Hello players, I'm Pablo and I welcome you to a new four set. Let's go back nine years to the 2015 season. Paquito Navarro and Mati Diaz became the number two couple of the world. And at the same time, Sanjo Gutierrez got the fifth position in the ranking after playing with Maxi Sanchez and Juan Imieres. But who were ranked number one? Bella and Lima. A season in which Bella won 13 titles out of 16. Two with Willy Laoz, 44 years old, and the rest with Pablo Lima. A dominance that was even superior to the dominance of Bella and Juan Martin Diaz years ago. Sanjo was 31 years old at that time, while Paquito was 26 years old and was considered the young player with the most projection at that time. So, both decided to join forces for 2016 with just one clear goal, to become number ones in the world. However, Bella Lima was not going to make it easy that season. From 16 tournaments in 2016, they managed to win 12. In other words, 75% of effectiveness, absolute record in a World Padre Tour season. And obviously, against such rivals, Paquito and Sanjo could do little. They managed to win three titles and reach eight finals. From those eight finals, they lost seven against Bela and Lima. But anyways, Paquito and Sanjo managed to become number two in the world. But don't forget that they didn't win a single match against Bela and Lima in the whole season. So, in different times, Paquito and Sanjo would have separated, but they decided to continue and thank goodness because they were right. Because 2017 was going to be the best season of Paquito Navarro and Sanjo Gutierrez, but also their last season together. The second consecutive year of the couple couldn't start better. The first tournament was in Santander and it was the first time that the World Padre Tour was broadcasted on national television. With that extra pressure, Sanjo and Paquito managed to win over Bella and Lima in an epic match. 7-6 in the third set in a tiebreak that today is the third most watched video in the history of World Padre Tour with more than 3.5 million views. The year continued with both couples alternating victories, including a very special one for Paquito, the World Padre Tour Sevilla. Decirle a mi compañero que dejé todo en Sevilla para, para verlo feliz y que gane en, tu, en su tierra. Bueno, la verdad que es un sueño cumplido, para mí, jugar delante y agradecerle a mi compañero que me ha traído hasta la final y que yo siempre digo lo mismo, yo puedo hacer mi juego porque él me hace jugar bien, entonces nada, que lo disfrutemos y, y nada, este título es para todos y cada uno de vosotros. Muchas gracias. Subscribe to the channel if you like the new couple Paquito Navarro and Sanjo Gutierrez. We were able to see in 2017 season the final Paquito Sanjo against Bela and Lima in 70% of the tournaments. Paquito and Sanjo won five titles plus six finals, all of them against Bela and Lima. And with eight titles in total, Vela and Lima, for one more year, they become number ones in the world. And at the same time, the burnout in the Paquito Sanjo couple was starting to become a reality. They were two different ways of living paddle, but at the same time, two natural talents of this sport. In several tournaments, they became champions more for the quality than for the effort made as a couple. That is why they decided to separate, even though they were the couple that had been the closest to become number one against Bella and Lima. Sanjo explained the reason for the separation years later. Primero, porque creo que sería de vuelta a volver a, a sentir el último año. A ver, la realidad, yo te cuento cómo fue. Le, 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 el dejar de jugar con Paquito lo decido yo. Porque no somos compatibles dentro de la pista juntos. Tal vez cada uno por su parte es buenísimo, él es buenísimo evidentemente, el número uno del mundo actualmente, yo lo fui el año pasado y, y, y en el 2018 y gran parte del año pasado, pero juntos 
A ver, también te digo, creo que si, juega, que si jugamos juntos somos candidatos también. Pero sí. al final, el segundo año, yo al final del año no disfruté de jugar. Y a mí al pádel me gusta jugar para disfrutar. No el solo hecho de ganar. Yo no puedo estar... Con Paquito, si seguía un año más, seguramente eh, hubiésemos ganado un montón de etapas. Porque el año anterior hemos hecho 11 finales y ganamos 5 pruebas. No fuimos número uno porque nos encontramos con un Vela y Lima que eran... Nosotros hacíamos 11 finales y hacían 12, nosotros ganamos 5 y ganamos 6. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Lo aplaudimos y listo. Pero se lo peleamos hasta el último. Pero, pero no disfrutaba. Había partido que ganamos. De hecho, el torneo de Andorra, por ejemplo, lo ganamos sin mirarnos. Y yo al padre me gusta disfrutar. Prefiero por ahí perder algún partido más, pero, pero disfrutarlo. But what happened for them to play together in 2024? Well, we are gonna see it in a moment. Because if Sanjo looked for a partner other than Paquito in 2017, he couldn't be more right. The post-Paquito Sanjo era was going to allow us to see both of them as number ones. The first would be Sanjo Gutierrez the following season with Maxi Sanchez. A 2.0 version of the Sanjo Gutierrez Maxi Sanchez couple that in 2018 would manage to win 8 titles and reach another 5 finals. And they managed to broke 16 years of record of Fernando Velasteguin being number one and gave fresh air to that first position in the ranking. At the same time, Paquito tried his luck with Juan Martin Diaz reaching 3 finals but without winning any of them. He will finish that season playing with Limas due to Vela's injuries and won a title. But Paquito's moment will come in 2019. There he will bet on a Spanish young player called Juan Lebron who will take a risk by switching from the left side to the right. Together Paquito and Lebron managed in 2019 to replace Sanjo and Maxi from the top of the ranking and be the first Spaniards to become number one in the world. What Paquito and Sanjo didn't achieve together, they achieved it individually. But how are we gonna get to the 2.0 version of Paquito and Sanjo? This season we found Paquito risking to play on the right side, an experiment that didn't work and quickly made him return to his natural habit, playing on the left side of the court and with Federico Chingoto. Together with El Ratón de Olavarria, they have reached five finals this season, two from World Padre Tour and three from Premier Padre. But they have not been able to beat Coelho and Tapia this season, but at the same time they have been super regular. That means they are the couple number four in the world behind Coelho Tapia, Super Pibes and Lebron Galán. On Sanjo's side, it has been his strangest season. El Mago de San Luis always tried to last at least one year with each partner. So the idea was to do the same with Bella in the 2.0 version of the couple. They reached the final of the Premier Padel Doha and promised to fight for the number one. But they ended up breaking up the project suddenly. So Sanjo found in Momo a young player with a lot of motivation. And actually they couldn't start better. They reached two finals in a very short time in Denmark and in Marbella. But then came the bad results. Different negative results in rounds of tournaments not usual for them made the project almost to be done. When people were not believing in them anymore, Sanjo and Momo didn't stop trying everything and working harder. But the project came to an end after Paris. So after that, Sanjo found on his nephew Agustin a player to meet again with himself to train together and recover his motivation. But for 2024, Sanjo and Paquito won more and that is why they decided to play together. And this is when we start with the strong points of this couple. And starting from the motivation that for me is key. And listen to Sanjo that confess this about himself. Soy un compañero que aporta y si se me tengo que ir a las me tiene que poner el despertador a las 5 de la mañana para ir a entrenar, pongo el despertador a las 5 de la mañana para ir a entrenar. El año pasado me levanté todos los días a las 6 y media de la mañana para ir a entrenar en la academia. Y para sumar y para esto y doble turno, no tengo ningún problema, tengo 39 años y no tengo ningún problema hacer doble turno 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 días, lo que vos quieras. No pierdo la ilusión, me mantengo bien físicamente. Intento cuidarme en todo lo que puedo. Volver a ganar el título, sin duda, eso sí. Eso sí. De hecho, es lo que te digo antes. Este año jugué tres finales. Todavía voy con... Todavía en el bolso metí la camiseta como para llegar a la final. <risa> Todavía voy con esa ilusión. The effort, desire and ambition are natural to Sanjo to win titles again. As they are for sure in Paquito. 
both players have reject calls from very top players just because they want to play together. So the commitment is total and for me there is a clear hope that it will work out well. Remember that it's not the first time that Sanjo decides to play with a partner with whom he had done it before. It had already happened this season with Vela. And let's remember that Sanjo became number one in the world when he joined Maxi Sanchez for the second time. Although this is a new situation for Paquito, because it is the first time that Paquito is gonna repeat partner. And it will be with the partner with whom he has competed for the longest time, two seasons. Also, it is true that nowadays there are more tournaments than before. But motivation will be found in 2023 results. For the first time for both of them, it is the first season in which they have not won a title. Sanjo has been since 2011 and Paquito since 2014 winning every season at least one title. And both have had options this season. Five finals for Paquito and three for Sanjo. But it is true that it's been six seasons after Sanjo and Paquito decided to split up. Now they have more experience so they have been able to learn from those mistakes and not have to repeat them now. And don't forget that they were really close to become number one in 2017. Although Padel has evolved a lot in the last six seasons. And this is where we can find not so strong points of this couple. Six seasons later means that Sanjo will be 40 years old in 2024 and Paquito will be 35. They don't have the physical strength of couples like Cuello and Tapia. Obviously, they are not specialists in generating winners either, but they do have different ways to face them. Many people can think that there is a possibility that the same problems that they had in 2017 can appear now. I would like to think that if Paquito and Sanjo have agreed to play together, they must have had a conversation with each other. And it means that they trust in the project and they have talked about it. That two brilliant players agreed on something like this is very exciting. But a handicap that I find on this couple is the trainings. Sanjo lives in Alicante and he trains there in his academy. However, in recent years, Paquito with his former partners has been adapting to the coaches they had. With Martín Dineno and El Gato Tello, he was with Rodrigo Vide and with Federico Chingoto, he was with Gaby Reca. So which coach will Paquito have next season? And on the other hand, here comes my personal bet. What results will have Paquito and Sanjo in 2024? Let's remember that only the fifth ranking is gonna count the next season and there Sanjo is 12 for not having played some Premier Padel tournaments. If we think about Paquito and Sanjo, they are a couple that should work better on slow courts than on fast ones. And for me, if I'm not obvious enough, it's a couple that I love. I have a feeling that with their motivation so high they will be very dangerous and they are not gonna accumulate two consecutive seasons without winning a title, for sure. They have reject players with higher rankings to join. It must be very clear to them and that means we should bet on them. Will they be able to beat Coelho and Tapia or the Super Pibes? From my point of view, yes, but to fight for the number one? Maybe that a priori seems too difficult, but you never know. What do you think about the new Paquito and Sanjo couple? Leave your opinion in the comments. Thank you for watching the video and see you in the next one. Ciao!